Hello guys, today we are going to print prime numbers from 1 to n on C++. First of all, I want to teach you the prime numbers basic definition. A number that can be divided only on 1 or itself and it must be, it must be greater than 1. Remember this, that 1 can only be divided by its itself, so it actually not falls on the proper definition. Let me hide this. Now we will move toward the Visual Studio 2017. First of all, I will write the loop. But I think so. I should show you the basic definition of loop. Uh, in computer programming, a loop is a sequence of instructions that is continually repeated until a certain condition is reached. Now move towards the IDE. Here I am writing the loop. I am setting the limit. You can set it up to 100 or whatever you want. Now, the second loop, I will tell you the, okay, this loop increments the value and this loop checks the value with the condition written. So, don't forget that I am initiating this variable with 2. Why? Because 1 can only be divided by itself or with no 1. So it actually not falls on the proper definition as described before. So don't forget this is very basic condition of the prime number. Now I will increment the second loop up to the half of the range set. Like this is the range. Okay. So I divide by 2. Okay. What it's used for? Uh, is the reason and uh, this this runs the loop up till half of the incremented number so okay don't forget this variable this is very important flag is equal to zero I will tell you the benefit of it later uh, this is the condition I'm setting here The value incremented modulus with each value which is continuously incrementing. If it successfully um, find modulus of this equal to zero, then it means that is this is not prime number. So flag will be set equal to one, and condition will break. Mean will not write anything from here else condition if flag remains same mean it not becomes one after passing through this condition then flag will remain zero then it means then we will write this thing it will not be uh, will not find we will not find divisor of it so this is her i the I will have uh, all the values of prime numbers so I think so it's the end of program uh, uh, so we are getting the oh sorry 2 3 5 7 11 13 and 19 these are the prime number up to 20 okay let me get to these slides uh, first of all, n over 2, this n over, I'm talking about this n over 2, actually is i over 2, n over 2 can be divided only by numbers less than its half, try to digest, in a program can be divided only by the numbers less than its half, like tens divisor are 5 or less than 5, so this n over 2 dividing the number, this, this condition, I'm talking about this, this condition we are finding finding modulus like 4 modulus 2 is equal to is equal to 0 but 4 modulus 3 is not equal to 0 meaning 4 modulus is not equal to, okay i told this you before i think so now it's the end of program okay don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos and don't forget to download my C++ quiz application which is obviously of your benefit this is the screenshot of my Android app you can download this 
and uh, don't obviously don't forget to subscribe thank you very much